Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another FRL podcast. Tonight we have Chris, and our special guest tonight is Alan Brown, who is better known as Fresh Brizzle. Oh, this is the face to the bruise. So, we're going to start off, uh, if you have any questions you would like to ask us, send them to the email at formularacingleague0 at gmail.com, and you can get all the up-to-date information on the driver of the week, uh, the league championships, what your point standings are at FRL, or uh, Formula League Racing. (laughs) Formula League Racing. Formulaleagueracing.co.uk That's the website, so it's (laughs) formularacingleague.co.uk So, tonight we're going to have Mr Fresh Brizzle answer all the questions, big interrogation. And uh, (laughs) we'll also find out how he feels about uh, his win and the slammers and the unfortunate events that happened during tackle. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yes. But tell you what, why don't we start with, uh, do you want to give us a quick idea of what brought you to our particular league and uh, where you, what, what brought you into uh, racing in general? Um, well, the racing in general, I've just been playing racing games since uh, PS1, um, like Formula 196 stuff like that and then each time some had come out I just bought ne- next racing game and uh, I uh, was racing in a league and I wanted to find something else to do during the week like more racing leagues to race in and um, yours got came up first and I just signed up and then just started racing with oh, so you actually searched for it and it came up first Woody said the same thing last week yeah. I did actually. Um, James, I bet you James is paying for uh, Google searches and Facebook searches and no telling us. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky James. Making you sure he gets these guys on. So, we've actually got quite a massive um, announcement to make tonight as well regarding um, the, the Formula Racing League, um, which we'll, <clears throat> we'll kind of touch on later on. Um, I'm also going to touch on um, our Alien of the Week, which I'm going to do one for PlayStation and one for PC tonight as well. Um, I've taken part in a few PC races, um, so um, I'll have a wee, a wee go at uh, kind of nominating someone for that, and obviously the PlayStation side as well. <clears throat> I raced on pretty much every single PlayStation race, so that'll come later, guys. So, and it uh, looks like we've got um, Rico Vantage has joined the chat tonight, and so has um, Evan. Uh, both are in. How are we doing, guys? So I, I, I guess uh, I guess at this point, uh, Fresh Chris has decided that three minutes is all you get to talk about yourself. He went straight off the different tangent, didn't he? Sorry. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> and um, go. So you, you came to us by a search. Um, how do you find the league compared to any other leagues you've been in? Um, quite fair, quite clean. And uh, quite close battling. Yeah. And that, especially like in the last few rounds. That's like that's an seeing the improvement in people and that. Did yeah, you but... have you been on ACC since you got the uh, since the game came out, or were you a bit late? Yeah, I uh, got the game. I started on the controller. I think I played it on controller oh. for about a year and a half. Really? Wow. Um, yeah. Um, I got the steering wheel, and that um, what was it the 20th of July last year. Is when I got onto the steering wheel finally. <clears throat> Can't it's it's such a, an it amazing is. transition, isn't it? Going for that. Yeah. It's such a different game to play when you go for um, the, the the controller over the steering wheel, and uh, there's someone else that needs to get their f- like gorilla thumbs yep. out and get a steering wheel. You know who you are. I am not slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. We've actually got a couple of nice things to say about you tonight as well, Briz. Um, oh, you've had a very, very good week this week. Yes. I think everyone obviously knows, but we might as well just announce it on here anyway. Um, you yeah. were fighting for a, a top spot on two different series this week, and you've been yes. working really hard and putting in some absolutely stellar performances, amazing quality times, racing from the back and coming in like finishing in the top four or first place it's 
I think it's becoming a wee common thing that you like to do. Yeah. And I think you got your serious head on the last few races and decided, no, I'm just going to start racing properly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. A championship chance actually will do that to you regardless. Aye. What serious head on? What Mister Mister? I'll race for the back. No, not. Yeah. I think the last couple of races you've kind of been a wee bit more competitive. Not, and, not like Monza where I started in the pits. <laughs> <laughs> Whether that was deliberate or if that was an accident, you still done really. I think you finished sixth in that race. Fifth. Uh, I can't remember. All I know is I needed a pee after two after fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone. This is um, Fresh Briz, who is infamous. For his needing to pee, <laughs> he's always on comms with us guys, and about 20 minutes into every single race, he's like, I need a pee. Well, before we started the stream, he put a McDonald's cup in next to his chair, an empty one. That way he doesn't have yep. to leave. I've still got it. I just don't drink for a bit. Haven't <laughs> been used yet. <laughs> Feel free to just get up and go when you feel. Um, yeah, relieve yourself. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just pretend you're still there and keep talking. I'll put up a picture of you. Yeah. Just put me head as an alien. <laughs> so um, yeah. So this week has seen you battling quite hard. Yeah. Um, up against some of the best drivers that PS4 has to offer. And the only thing that stopped you from taking the championship in tackles was yourself at Bathurst. Yep. But you nearly gave up, and we were all shouting at you, yeah. don't do it, don't do it, and you eventually came back out on track and actually just secured you third spot. Third spot, yeah. You would have taken, I think you would have been in for a really good shout. If you'd have got higher up the grid, I think you'd have been a good shout for taking it. Yeah, yeah. I think if I'd got... Uh... E6, I think I might have just snipped it. Yep. I, this, this is what this is what um, FRL does. You race, you take part, and all can all can be fantastic for seven rounds, and then on round eight, on Bathurst, the hardest yep. track in the game, ruins everyone's life. I don't think was... Bathurst is the hardest track in the game. I think Definitely. Bathurst is the most unforgiving track in the game. Ah, um, that's probably a better way of looking at it. I think... Uh, I think at least Zandvoort's a bit more tricky. Um, oh, I love it. I love Zandvoort. As, as we found out on Saturday, I was talking to Fresh beforehand, if you don't get the right setup for Monza, it's demoralising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was it happening? You and Cheka done a full setup? We've done, we done a setup. We, we, we modified the setup that Chris sent us, uh, Steve-O, to uh-huh. race because it was, it was raining. The whole practice was just heavy rain. You were never going to be out there on a set of dry, dry tyres. And then practice came around and it was peeing down again. It was heavy, heavy rain. So when it came to the race, um, the race was starting 30 minutes of at least dry weather. And I, we were talking, we thought, it was never going to be six hours of dry weather, not after all that rain in practice. So we decided to go with the setup that we'd had without knowing how much top speed I actually had in dry. And uh, went with that. And it was a nightmare. Uh, we were probably losing half a sec to three quarters of a second in each straight. Everybody was just pulling away. <laughs> it was well, and then, six hours, uh, that couldn't have been good. And then also, the back end was just so unpredictable in the dry. I mean, it was nice and solid in the rain, but sitting in the dry with dry tyres and uh, dry tarmac, it did not want to behave itself. Mm-hmm. It would just twitch out and kill you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, I think it's hat off to you, you stuck it to the end, did you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, every time one of you has wanted to quit, the other one would just have to take over. <laughs> we had uh, we had a few people pop in, but Fresh did for pretty much the whole thing. You watched the entire yeah, thing. Yeah. He was a legend. Sitting there, like, bored witless. No, I'm kidding. I'm sure he was. I nod, nodded off for half an hour. Yeah. And then I woke up and then it was still going. <laughs> He had one of those wee clickers in his hand every time we hit the wall. <laughs> How many clicks did you get? I don't know, I lost count after 99. 99. <laughs> First nine, time nine, nine nine clicks. Six hour race yeah. and you managed to break it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. We, that's, that's what we should do, like a charity race or something, and every, everyone that hits a wall, it's like a pound goes into charity. Chris, you'd be broke. You've not got enough money in the bank, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, really good. Just do the pit limit race. Apparently, <laughs> I did actually. <laughs> Brizzo, if, if anybody's not seen it yet, Brizzo posted up a wee, um, a short snippet, uh, one lap round Bathurst, uh, what was it, pit limit on for the entire time, yep. and it took about five minutes to do the lap. <laughs> was that the other night put it up or something? Must yeah. Have just been, you must have just been bored and thought, I'm going to do this. No. I saw Gio <laughs> did it uh, going up the mountain, so I thought, oh, I'll see if I can get it going down. <laughs> Probably find what happened it was it was attempts, sick. though. Sick and tired of bouncing off the walls, you thought you were just doing the pit limit? Yeah. Surely you can go flat out? Nah. You can't go, yeah, flat, yeah. You can't go flat out around Bathurst with the pit limit run? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just wondering, why it, took, just wondering why it took you eight attempts to get around Bathurst with the pit limit run. Because <laughs> I was doing, um, I kept changing all the fuel and that lot and First, I tried doing it without the pit limiter, mm -hmm. so just flat out in first. Yeah. And that, and uh, didn't quite go to plan at the downhill part, nope. as we say. Excellent. Oh, the fun we have, and talking about fun, last night's tackles race, I've never laughed so hard in my entire life. Are you talking about slammers? Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. slammers race, that was amazing. I, I'll give yeah. the, the guys at the front the credit that they're due. To be able to be in the chat with us and still make it through that whole race normally was mm -hmm. epic. <laughs> yeah, I was just, in just to get, last night. Just, just to get past Chris on any street was a, an a, epic event. I made it extremely difficult just oh, because... Extremely difficult. You were blocking, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, we've got a few others in the chat, just so we know, guys. GT Jamie says, hey, lads. We've got King Phoenix says hello. That's uh, Amir from PC. Hello. Nice to see hello, the PC Amir. boys turning up. Woody's in as well. Oh. <laughs> Woody's just put, ah, the well-talked-about emergency jug. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant. I see Big Dom's and He's one of the people that got in a lot of crashes last night with you lot and still managed to gain the SA. Yep. Don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Game day, um, Skaz has put, I had a lapse in concentration um, on last night's tackles and went from P10 to P21. Jesus, Ooh, that's a massive that's a lapse. Big, yeah. that's, Keddy's that's, in the chat. Hello, that's, Keddy. That's such a massive uh, lapse in concentration. That might have been a pass out. Yep. Traction Dave's in the chat. Yep. God, everyone's, everyone's um, taking part in We've got... 22 people watching at the moment. Excellent. Just keep it coming, guys. Share, share, and share. Oh, what's this? Geo, stop putting rules up and get in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, so, Briz, you came yep. from um, probably quite a, a kind of small league before yeah. you came here. Um, who was it that you were racing with? EOA. EOA? Um, Edge of Adhesion. Right, okay. And. Is that that Italian? No, it's not the Italian mob, it's EOS that we're doing the endurance. Yeah. Different mob. It's Edge of Adhesion. Yep. What a name. <laughs> and does that, I've, I've seen there's a few people have kind of followed you in. I mean, is that people you yourself have been speaking to to come over? or? Uh, no. Um, I, think Volt, um, I think Volt came over just to keep an eye on me. <laughs> and that's it, it's it, make sure I'm behaving myself. Um, and the answer has to be no, you're not. No. <laughs> uh, Donny, uh, he was going to start, he was going to come over and have a few races and that with you because he likes his GT4s. Right. And uh, they were uh, only mainly doing, it was only mainly GT3s that they were doing. Um, but unfortunately, he's up to it. He's, having a little break from the game so right. that's why he's left the channel at the minute so yeah quite, quite a lot of people um unfortunately this this kind of uh, um, has been happening um taking a wee break from the game but what happens life takes over thing things happen in life you just i think uh, a, like um i think a big factor on that being at this moment as well is the fact that people were still trying to keep up with what they were doing when lockdown was around 
And once everybody went back to work, it was so much more harder to keep up with your in real life activities in life and your online life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've not had this effect happen yet. Well, eventually. Though. No, it's, uh, I, it's, I think I'm managing it quite well, actually. I've, I've got an extremely busy working life. That's because you, you just take a couple of lines and stay up for weeks. I've, <laughs> oh my god, Del. I don't touch anything at all apart from... My, my, my um, addiction is FRL, is ACC. Got awful defensive there, mate. That's just not good. Yeah. No, my addiction is sim racing. But yeah, my you, addiction you is, do is... spend a lot of time awake though, so it helps. Yeah, yeah. I've, I don't sleep. I have about four or five hours of sleep a night and that's it. The rest of my time is filled with probably kind of on this Discord quite a lot. I'm faffing about. I'm doing all this, do that. I'm racing. I'm practicing. I'm talking to people. I think we, we're such a massive... Um, community that we've got now, there's always somebody looking to ask a question or, or, or asking how did I do this, how did I do that, like, um, where's this, where's that sort of thing, so I've always kept really, really busy. We need to get a tour guide for the Discord, it's getting some bloody big. <laughs> tour guide? Aye. Aye, get on a bus and it takes you through it. Well, as, as, as an admin, you get so many channels, you, you've got to have something. <clears throat> Just have your PC open 24-7. I've got my PC, my laptop, my phone, tablet. Your Nebuchadnezzar, as they call it. I need a new one. Just to a new what? A new Nebuchadnezzar. One's not enough. Oh. <laughs> How many screens I've got up? Yeah, I think if you put any, anything else in that house still, you're just going to have... If you've seen that National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The bit where he plugs everything in and you're... The ticker just goes. Yeah. I'm wait, waiting for the day that the, the house just takes off. Hi. So there's been quite a lot of activity recently in the driver of the day um, section. So after each of the races, it's good to see that we're now getting like 10 and 15 and as much as 20 nominations per race off of all the drivers now. So it's getting a, a lot more active, a lot busier. So it's making it harder to work out who is going to be looking at driver of the month which is coming up very soon coming up to the end of the month and i'll get that sorted and posted up um within the first week of may so the driver of the month of april will be on the webs the voting will be on the website soon after but just looking back there's uh, one or two people that are jumping out at me that and uh, from remembering driving with them how well they performed and what their their qualifying times were and just also their activity here as well on the likes of the discord so this new wee thing that james has got set up where it shows you what level you're at so a lot of guys now are getting more active and it's it's great so i'll i'll be coming up with a driver uh an alien of the week sorry for both playstation and pc for tonight like i said just having a look through now, but we'll have a look at the chat. Just before we leave the uh, the area of Tackle Tuesday, um, I put in a message in the chat earlier on uh, just to thank everybody and say that we do notice when things go cleanly. Mm -hmm. um, first two laps, we, we started the thing where we're going to be watching the first two laps of each race, make sure they stay clean. Any incidents that we see, we're going to pull them out um, and add them to the tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, but I went you never did any tickets last night. No, well, <laughs> well we had a couple of tickets for later on, but for a for a being an eighty minute, ninety minute race, um, I think it went very, very smoothly. And uh, right. since since we're on public television as well just now, I thought I would just say to the guys, I think it was brilliant, uh, nice clean racing, and keep it up. Uh, that's mm -hmm. what we. It, it looked really good on stream as well. We did see a bunch of cars spinning out and a bunch of drama. So, yep. really appreciate that and uh, makes our life a bit easier. So, somebody got an absolutely fantastic picture of the, the PS5 lot. So, there was like 29 cars coming down the backs, the, the, coming down the hill. 
on the formation lap and it just looked brilliant. It was it was looked so busy and for that to go through the first lap and into the second lap with no no serious touches was brilliant. I, I totally agree. <clears throat> there was um a couple of a couple of ups and a couple of downs last night. Bathurst is always a very, very good and Was that a pun on the fact it's a hill? <laughs> It's always a very good and a very bad race. It can ruin your life or it can make you, it can enlighten your night. It's one of those tracks. Oh, it's a very um, un- unforgiving track. Uh, I know you can either... do like 58 laps and yeah, then lap 59 and the S's ruin your day. Yeah. It's just crazy. You hit that en- entry curb wrong and that's it. You just bounce off every wall. By the time you leave Forest Elbow, you've got three minutes of damage. <laughs> I enjoyed the fact that I've not been on PC, PS4 for a while, I finally got it working again last night. But last time I was on Bathurst with Woody, it was nice to see that he's uh, still got the same mentality of smashing every wall and being in the pit <laughs> every lap. <laughs> it's obviously his favourite track. Can I just say in um, Slammers last night, I managed to get my car up to 9 minutes 16 worth of damage. <laughs> I, that was Is that a record now? Think so. I, can't, I don't believe the car is still running. It was. I was still doing donuts at the end and then porting to the pits. We've got Zombie Dan saying good evening, gents. He's just appeared in the chat. Zombie so Dom, you mean? Hello, Zombie Dom. Zombie Dom, that's what he just says. You said Zombie Dance. Oh, did I? Aye. Yeah. Sorry. You were obviously thinking of a wee zombie that dances. <laughs> yep. So. Is it Thriller? Your favourite artist? <clears throat> Jake or Maxon? Yes. Oh yes, definitely. So, um, the sh- the, there's been quite a lot of things have happened through this week. Um, again, more changes on the likes of the rules and stuff. Um, they've been tweaked. Geo's doing an absolutely magnificent job tweaking all these things and making the changes and update the document which looks amazing it's nice mm. and easy on the eye it's it's a good read um you've you've thanked um geo as well um didn't you Briz, for yeah. the efforts he put in to help you kind of go through it and yeah and um, i could see where my mistakes were and yeah. what i did wrong mm-hmm. um not everyone's blessed with the ability to see a page worth uh, full of words and be able to take it in and absorb it so geo has took his time to kind of go through it with you and it's very commendable two thirds, um, of, this, two thirds of this conversation have that problem <laughs> <laughs> yes it does indeed <laughs> but it's more, more the, people than you might think to be honest with you right. this, well, the, the, the best thing about that is seeing something um, taking it and absorbing it can sometimes be difficult for um, anyone so the document, though, if, if you have a, a, a kind of good read of it, anyone scout over it. The blue flags has been a bit of a kind of an issue um, of late, and that's kind of been clarified now. Yeah, we had an issue regarding pitting as well. Um, that's now been clarified, so everything's all been covered off and highlighted um, to try and make things as transparent as possible, so that when people do race at FRL, they know before they even hit the grey stuff. If they read it and take it in, it's a good read. It's 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 not necessarily like kind of boring, but it's it keeps you in tow so that when you've got the likes of Dell here, <laughs> um, then looking at you um, as part of an instant, which instance happen? We it's part of racing. Oh, yeah. This is what you need to understand when you are racing on a track with 20 to 30 cars. Um, bumps and bangs do happen. But the rules are there; they're set in place, so that we can try and maintain a bit of equilibrium when it comes to that. And the at the thing, same token, the thing is, with the, 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 we're just we're just trying to we're, we're trying to tweak it and get it better. The it's thing not, with the rules, though, Chris, is it's also if you uh, if you follow the rules. I mean, they're not perfect. No set of rules will ever be perfect. But if you follow the rules and you you do what the rules are saying and how to safely get round the track. It'll improve your your race day. Nobody wants to get taken out in the first corner. Nobody wants to get taken out. Period. Well, but I tell it, I tell you what. There's lots of things on it uh, is to help other people get past you as well. Mm-hmm. Um, something as simple as 
reminding people on a, a regular basis when you get into a crash, hold the brake until you stop, that makes a massive difference, believe it or not. It doesn't help you in the slightest, but it helps other people around you, but it will stop you getting a penalty. That moving on track when there's cars surrounding you, try and, try and avoid that. Hold your yeah. brake in so that your car doesn't move. But I think all the changes and the tweaks that's been implemented now by the likes of the whole student team that have, and the admin team that have kind of put their bit in about it, um, as divided as it was, Geo's managed to make it more. It's, it's more commonsensical. Is so if work? you actually read it and look at it, it does make common sense. Common it's, sense well, we're not trying to make every race super uber ultra restricted you've still got to get have fun go and challenge the corners go and race as fast as you can just do it as clean as possible and that's yeah, it it's, it's not about penalties it's about uh learning for the next race so you don't get penalties is more or less what it's about yeah and in the moment when you're racing and you're in the moment, there's three or four cars going into one corner three wide four wide be the person that that knows when to pull out and when no yeah. It's, it's a hard balance to strike, but we're getting there. There's it's, new it's, guys that have come into the server that have never been, that have probably never raced with uh, a, like a, a gaming community that's as organised as what we are. So I think the organisation the organisation we've all got going on in the background, our rules, all the different leagues that we're doing, all the different guys that work in the admin team, the admin support team, the stewards, the PC side, the PlayStation side, it's, it's a hard balance to strike, but I think we're getting, we're, we're almost on top. It's not a knife edge anymore, it's more, things are starting to make more sense and more common sense as well. Mm -hmm. So it's been a it's been a hard slog. There's a fresh <laughs> thing he's giving Gio a shout out. He had a he says he had a pep talk to him as well, and it really helped him out the last couple of weeks. By instance. Yep. Aye. Some sometimes sometimes um, you can read something in the rules and you think you've understood it, but until you get a ticket in, and a lot of people when they get a ticket in about them, ask exactly, well, why am I getting points for that? And then when you write out a big paragraph of how you explain it, it can give a different light and it actually helps. Yep. Different, a couple of different perspectives can always bring a different uh, level of clarity. And, well, uh, also while we're on about uh, stewarding and penalty points and stuff, anybody that has to be watching from PC, if you can go and look at the rules again, our whole section is it's not that it's changed, it's become more clear on what each penalty's for and why you get a penalty. Um, yeah. So if, if you go have a quick look at that as well, because the PC side has completely changed on the rules, although the content's not really changed. The What you were getting penalty for has always the same, been the same. It's mm -hmm. just we're giving you more clarity on, so you know the reason, and uh, we don't have to keep on explaining it to driver after driver after driver because it wasn't uh, as clear as it could have been. Yeah. Well, off the back of the whole changes as well, we've now got Gamer Dads and our latest admin support um, member which came in, it was added tonight, uh, GT Jamie. Um, the two of them are going to work together on the likes of helping folks set up, etc. And off the back of any kind of serious instance, um, people that are kind of starting to rack up maybe a, a wee bit too much points, which is kind of teetering them towards like either race bands or quality bands and stuff, to go and take a bit of mentoring from these two guys. GT Jamie and Gamer Dad are well vetted in the game. They're well versed in what's right and what's wrong, um, and they're happy to kind of go through and show these types of things to, to help people kind of like get beyond the mistakes they've made. We're not trying to wrap anybody's knuckles. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to help everybody as much as we possibly can. Yeah. And this is the best thing that we can do. Like, like so you said, far. you start off and you try to educate. And uh, when it, when it's fallen on deaf ears is when you start to give a little bit of penalties. I mean, obviously, certain situations are so drastic, you have to give a penalty because a, a warning would do. But I mean, we always try to start with a warning. Um, 
<laughs> GT Jamie's step one, don't hit the wall. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> oh, that's really good mentor in there, Jamie. <laughs> that's that's your 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 first appointed um, suggestion and statement. Um, as a coach, don't hit the wall, likes. <laughs> you do hit the wall, keep going. Yeah. Don't break the car. All attraction, Dave, uh, um, said to me in the chats through the week. <laughs> he says he's been looking for holes in the walls for like, since he started playing the game, and he just can't find any yet. <laughs> Try to drive through them. I, I managed to find a way over the top of a wall in a BMW, a GT4 BM. Aye, that's right. On, on, the, on Bathurst. The mountain, that's yeah. right. Completely uh, doing the last lap of qualifying. I dipped a tyre off into the, the gravel um, at the top and it invalidated <laughs> my lap, so I just put the foot down and kept on going off the top of the hill. Oh, it was hilarious that day. Uh, GT James just says, that's my that's me done for the week, he's quarters, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, my dad must have some seriously low expectations. <clears throat> just give them one line and then go to your bed. So why don't you give us a wee bit more idea on what the coaching do you do you have any idea what the coaching is going to entail yeah so um gamer dad and gt jamie um as well versed in the game as they are uh, they're going to show people how to like, take corners right and get maximum kind of speed out of their car and work on setup i mean gamer dad's a, a setup guru <laughs> He's the, the king and, and queen and princess of showing up six minutes before a race, firing a quick couple of laps in, and qualifying the top five. Yeah, he's, he has quite it's ridiculous. It's the days, it's the days he spends days and days and days practicing, and then he turns up and it doesn't work. That's the, the funniest ones for me. G they G they G can touch you, show up and drive. Well, GT Jamie, if you're wanting to, to learn how to get maximum speed out of your car, he's controversially done the fastest lap round um, Brands Hatch out of anyone at all on the server, as far as I know. Did he take the shortcut? Aye. A, a, a 1 minute 21 Ooh. point, I think it was 799 or 977. You can correct me on that in the chat. And I nearly uninstalled the game and walked away for the bloody FRL when I heard they'd done that. Who got that time? Who got that time? Chris, you done it? a... What, did you not do a 21? That night on the... I think he did a 21. Or no, was that a 22.9 it was? It was a 22.977 he did. So, so he, he went sub... He that. went sub 23. Um, controversially, might we add? Controversially? Yes. I'll let him explain it. I'm not going to blast it all out here, I'm just going to let him <laughs> controversially explain You might not want time. to explain it. Just throwing the man under a bus. No, it was a legit lap. The green lap. No, no red marks on it at all. It was just the conditions that he produced that time in. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It was snowing. <laughs> so, would you like to do some standings and see where everybody sits at? Yeah, we can do that, no problem. Okay. Um, so, as again, because I'm too damn slow, James says, I'll bring it up <laughs> and you go through the results. Yeah, is yeah, I'll happily do that. Okay. So, um, if I can find I'm that. just going to see if anyone's sent in any emails. Hopefully, they have. We don't have anything at all. No, that's okay. I'm sure all the questions will just come either direct to me or on the chat here. If anyone does have any questions, post them up. <clears throat> I've actually got a wee um, coaching session booked in with GT Jamie on Saturday. He's going to going to go through a few wee bits with me. What uh, on Saturday? What kind of coaching do you need to cut grass? To stay off the grass as much as I possibly can would be a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Going to teach you how to do uh, words. Boundary, the right up against the barrier. Yeah. <laughs> Get that cut perfectly Without against touching the fence. The barrier. <laughs> Going to start putting the roller on the back so you get the nice lines. Aye. 
Right, first up. Oh, look so, at that. This is just again. us reiterating the fact that uh, Will Friedman, TK Drifter, and I am slow. All finished first, second, third uh, with tackles, but look at how tight that was with panel. One one point in it um, to steal that um, coveted third place off a of I am slow. But magnificent season over eight rounds. Just shows you Will Friedman um, didn't miss a race. I think he's he's put in the time and effort, and deservedly so took the series by There's five points. Actually, nobody in the, the nobody in the top three missed a race. Period. Yeah. Actually, nobody in the top. Nobody five. in the top five. Yeah. Yeah. This is where Brazil should be, by the way. One of the sandbox and malarkey. Oh, he's got no right. choice next season, you does he? Uh, sandbox and... No, that's because you, you gave me Lurchie as my teammate. And you put Lurchie in the pro and me in the pro-am. Yes. So it's all Christmas fault. Yep. And Lur Lurchie's missed lots of races. Look at that. Total poor show. Didn't even show face. Boo. Right, next. <laughs> you degraded Lurchie's like that. <laughs> right, next. Jeez, but, boys. Sorry, Lord Jesus, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Just you don't listen to him. He's a wee bugger. And look at that. Your man himself. So, if last night would have finished different, there's only 30 points in that and we'd have been a double points last night. It could have been a hell of a lot different. So there was 80 points up for grabs. And you got a ninth place. Yep. And I was going to quit. You were going to quit. I was so close. Yeah. So what position, let's just have a look. If you'd have came in fifth or above, you'd have still won that, wouldn't you? You think so? Yeah. Just looking at it, I think. It would have been fifth or above, yeah. Don't, don't try and use your brain that much, but SLP Steve, Astro Racer much, and yeah. Fresh Briz all got the first, second and third. And this new point structure that was um, kind of brought in, I keep on saying it week in, week out. Yep. It's just keeping things really interesting. Does it keep it close? Very close. I mean, if you look at that from eighth position. What so is it? Is it one point It could have been a different story. Between the top eight, it could have been a different story altogether. So what is a point difference? Um, what, so it starts at 40, you? so if you scroll, scroll up, you'll see the points difference. It's just at the top of the tables. Oh, okay. So... <clears throat> Okay, so there it's, it's at the lower side it's one, once you get past about 10th place Every, upwards, every single good. position, so if you use the wee scroller at the bottom, it shows you that every single position yeah, gets points point. regardless. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you start at 30th on PS5, by the time you get to 10th place then it goes in twos, and PS4 starts at 20th for 11 and goes up to... Aye, so and you go obviously as well. 20 drivers, 30 drivers, so it's a point structure that works yeah. for both. Well, whereas whereas think, you, you, can, you can possibly miss a race and still stay in it. Yes, that whereas there. before, there was like a massive gap between the top three. Like a massive gap, yeah. because these guys that were consistent. But the guys in 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th, as you can see, as long as they're consistently showing up, they're going to keep them on their toes mm -hmm. and not make any mistakes. One, one or two mistakes by any of the top three or four. And it's a different story. We're talking about three different people at the top. Um, and then going to the PS5 for me. God, I couldn't see it for what I thought. Michael races, like, completely dominated that. Never missed a race. Tracks Dave missed one, but... Pardon me, and he got a seventh on um, the double points race. Tracks and Dave's been within the top ten, but he's been... Dotted around the top 10 quite a bit, so it's quite And then Rob took Again, the the, the um, double points um, on the last race just it makes things really, really interesting. But Michael Race has completely obliterated everybody. Just over 100 points, 106 points above Traction Dave. But if you scroll down and see how tight it is in the middle of the pack and how tight it is near the bottom. So there's like lots and lots and lots of points battles going on everywhere. <clears throat> it's good man, it keeps it keeps it very interesting. So 
you can see the consistent DNFs there, the people that, that were just not finishing the race. Right. <laughs> I, was just on, I was moving on to the next series, but then you went back Oh, you go? No, you go, that's fine. Next series, next series. Go and look at the slammers, because I know somebody's got a vested interest in the chat. Yes, so I'd left this. I didn't want to announce it earlier on, but... You didn't announce it earlier on. No, I never say <laughs> that. Beginning of the programme. <laughs> Fresh Briz absolutely obliterated the pack. Yes. Um, Hutch never showed up last night, which yeah. could have been interesting for the mix. It's a shame because uh, he said he was never going to beat Fresh, but I don't know. I mean, given half a chance, you might have... Uh, you never know with Bathurst, you could have had a wee fuck up and I don't know, a wee uh, mistake. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I did, I was carrying damage from the last race. Yeah. You're only carrying damage from the last race. Your damage gets reset when you go to a new day. Yeah, no, <laughs> in, the, in the last race I clipped the wall. Yeah. It did, it's, but it's still just... It was uh, flipping. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, going to Slamos, that was close, look at uh, Sean yeah. and Hutch. Sean, P1 SGF or Sean. And Hutch finished on two four six, but Hutch got more like kind of um, he had more top podiums. End wins. Yeah, don't know like Sean got any podiums, but he was still always within the top ten. Mm -hmm. And it was because Hutch missed the last race. Yep. Sean managed to jump up and catch him. It just goes to show you if you're consistently go to the track and race, you're going to get somewhere. That's it. And in saying that, Hutch is talking about he didn't think he'd be able to beat uh, Fresh, but if you take a quick look, uh -huh. Fresh made every race as well, didn't you? Yeah. So, I mean, there's been times there that he's beaten you. So, I think, oh, yeah. I think it's uh, a bit a bit strange for him to say he didn't think he was ever going to beat you on the hill. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> So that's a good mix. That's a, a, a um, tequila slammers. It's, it's how many of them are on the table? You're above Woody. So I am. You got on top of Woody. One point in it. One point in it. Because you never finished last night. That's because you were beating them up last night. <laughs> Scroll down. How many people are on the table? I think it's full. It is. So it's, I never got my name in there. I've There's more race. people. More people that more than twenty have taken part. It's only the top twenty. That get posted in the standings, even though there's there's more people have entered over the course of the eight rounds. But the Tequila Slammers for any newcomers or anything at all that are watching the cast tonight, um, the Tequila Slammers runs along slide run, uh, ting, runs alongside Tacos calendar, and it's always a a kind of smaller version sprint, so it's like a 25 minute or 40 minute sprint on the special events. Um, because Vantage is saying if I didn't disconnect, I think the, think the standings would be completely different. Exactly. Exactly. It was devastating for him last night because he disconnected when he was in the top five, I think. He's a fairly new driver, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. He's come in and made an instant impact, can I just say? Ble bleating on the Discord that he's not fast and. It's he's, he's he's new and this and that. It doesn't want to hinder anyone's race. And it was bloody his debut race was a top I three, I think, or a top two. Was it that high? I thought he had a yeah. really really good race. Oh, Pepsi Max advert right there. Uh, Cherry, thank you. Off. None of so, that. None of that standard crap. <laughs> so this is us on here. PS Five Thursday. So the season is currently in full swing. I think we need to take uh, some air out of Michael's tyres. Yeah, <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous. Michael, well, I mean, if you just look at the, the total difference to second place, mm -hmm. another race or two if he finishes in first, I think it'll be over. And you've got I, three races remember, left. You're going to you should have challenge three. yourself. You should start from the back of the grid. He does <laughs> in the second that. race. <laughs> Do it in the first race as well. <laughs> so Michael races crazy and Ben Mil Milden can kind of keeping the top three alive, and then Tarek, Arms, King of the Hills, 
Um, Zali Grace, uh, Nubi Butnik, I would say, are probably all still in the running as well over the course of the next, what's that, eight races. And do remember, that's a 45-minute race, round one, and then a 15-minute sprint, round two. Both races require a pit stop, so it adds to the mix. Where do you at, um, uh, You don't make it into the top 30. No, it's an arriving drive, so I've only driven maybe one or two races in that. I'm actually taking part again um, this Thursday coming, so... The, the, I thought about it, but it's Silverstone and I just kind of be arsed with Silverstone. Just going. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with Silverstone. No, I, I used to, Silverstone used to be my favourite track, um, and then it's with the with, with my feet the way they are. It's one of the more difficult tracks to deal with. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, my my times are way down. I'm probably about well, at least two seconds. I used to be able to do uh, under two minutes, no problem. Now I struggle to get a two minute and four at times. And it's just. The, the enjoyment of driving at Silverstone is just not there anymore. It's, there's, there's a lot of really, really hard braking sections. So, exactly. first corner, just after like, coming into Maggots and Beckett's, the end of the straight, um, the slow section, and then you've got that the last corner as well after that straight, so uh, it's quite laborious on you. So there's a lot, a lot happening, and with lots of rounds to go, anything could happen. Michael Races could get a flat tyre for the next eight races running. Yep. <laughs> Who knows? We could uh, we could put that as a uh, a penalty. Penalty flat tyres. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just walked by and splashed them before the race. Forward slash flat tyre space Michael Races hit enter every race. <laughs> it wouldn't have surprised me if the bitch is still running or it was inside of people with tyres sparking. St still winning races, <laughs> just marks flying everywhere. I think, uh, I don't know what his plans would be, but I think uh, it's possibly close to that time he needs to upgrade himself to a PC. Yes, Michael. That, that way, the, uh, that way the, the PS guys can have a chance again and he can get in with some real competition that will actually give him a massive... And he gets a fight, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the PS guys are not as good. I'm just saying, we're def we're a much of a margin as he's got just now, I think he needs a bigger challenge overall, over the whole season. Oh, I've made some enemies over that comment, but hey ho. <laughs> <laughs> so, we the Kev and George, both keeping the, the kind of like the standings alive, as you can see, we the Kev's at the top, George second place, and SRE boss closely following behind. Wig Wang Bang, love that. Uh, Big Wang Bang, sorry, I absolutely love that name. Um, oh, he's Canadian, he's... I, I do, it's probably a racist comment, but I thought he was from Asia. Why? Oh, because he's got Wang Bang in the name? I, I was thinking that, I think his name might have been, like... And the fact that he drives Stephen a Honda? Wang or something. <clears throat> Wig Wang, he might have been Indian. But look at the battles as well, from fourth place down to about ninth, it's still quite tight there as well, so... And you've got your name um, in this one too. There's a, a double header, I think it's double points, I'm not sure, we'll need to clarify that, but I think most of our, our finales are double points. Um, it just seems to be the FRL thing, just to kind of keep things going, so it's... A lot a lot can happen, but the, the finale is tomorrow. I think there's some spots still available on the, the check-in as well, so gonna, anyone that's... Are we going to attack the finale and drive it? I would love to, but I'm up at the crack of dawn okay. um, on Friday for work. Why don't you go to bed a little earlier and then get up for the race and just go straight to work? It's a good idea, actually. Try getting you to go to bed that. earlier, you probably would. No, but yeah, just lie in bed with that. Other the than, other than the, the top five or six, it's quite close. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, say five or six, top ten. Have, everyone's got a fighting chance um, for within their own right to try and, I mean, you're, the further down the table you go, what you're doing is you're fighting to get above the guys that are close by you, because yeah. one good performance, as tight as it is, can 
you can you can see yourself going up three or four or five spots. It's again, the beauty of our new point system. So the endurance has just started, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Have we had any races yet? Yeah. We have an epic race coming up this coming. Well, we're talking oh. about races that have happened. Yep. So there has been two races then. Okay. So it's fortnightly. So there's it's still a two-hour format. Yeah. Two hours, two pits, no tyres required. Mixed class. Um, it's, I mean, look at the, the top of that table, there's still six rounds to go. It's the end of this game. Well, Friedman's obviously um, <clears throat> and it's up a, there. a GT3 car this time as well. Yeah. So on the PS4, he's in the GT3 rather than GT4. Yeah. Um, after a couple of rounds, we've got a couple of GT3 cars that have kind of slipped down the pecking order. They've either missed a race or they've had a poor performance. But how do the point, how do the points work for that? So GT fours. So you get the same points for a GT four car as you do for a GT three then. Aye aye, as always. So but that, the I mean that, that's going to that's going to account for some of the GT fours being higher than GT three cars then. But this this Friday sees the two hours round spa. So, are you in the oh. are you in the endurance? Yep, yep, Mr. Fresh Prism. Yep, I'm in there. Camera fell. Just got to get my car down into the two eighteens. <laughs> Don't you start with your two eighteens. So the PS5 side of it. Yes, floppy fox, art corner. And ER Team Elden, um, kind of running away slightly with it. You've got your Forex State, uh, Lord Ash Wilson, and Dragon on sp Speed and Springbok Gamer, kind of closely following behind. And then you've got a very tight mid table. Don't look as if GT James much enjoying that uh, Ferrari down there. Well, an 11th and a 14th, um, over the course of two hours, anything could happen. That's, That's the beauty uh, of an endurance race. True, true. Um, anything can happen at all, and if you don't get your pit strategy right, it can ruin your life. What's like crazy is they had a very good first race, and then the second race is just never made. That's made a big difference to his race now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so finally the GT3 Sunday, Sun Gear Pure. It's all back to front, I just said it, but it's, if you use it as an anagram, you'll get the right. Order. Yep. Anybody can go onto the website at any time, by the way, and see this information. Uh, you can kind of have a look at the calendars and click yeah, on the individual date slots and get the information for yourself. I know you like asking the questions on the Discord, and we're always going to answer it for you as well, but the right. more you use our website, the more you get yourself up to speed with where we are, what we're doing, and what's going on. Yeah, there's a lot of information on the website. That's uh, the one I gave out at the beginning, which is... Uh, Formula Racing League.co.uk. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you put it in the search engine, if you put it in Google Search, it's Formula Racing League. It will come right up. We're actually right at the top of this Google search for that. Excellent. Well, Lely took his. Was this his first ever? Yeah, so this was a final Championship. On Sunday, was it? Uh, yeah. Oh, was that his first one? I think it's his first ever championship, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, he was being commended think. for it. There you go, well done, Willie. As, as fast as he is, he's, he's always up there, but I think well deserved, especially managing to pick the post with Michael, who did not miss, did neither of them missed a base, and just look at how close that is. Michael had a blund, two blunders. And, was that six um, points difference? Yeah, an 11th and a 13th, and Lely had a 10th and an 11th, so that's the only two that's divided those two from the top. The only two races. Round one for Michael races, and round two race two, and then obviously round three, Lely didn't he? I mean, look, he's got medals for everything else apart from that one. Yeah. So what was round three? Did they know? Where was round three? Well, we'll look up and see. Round three was Laguna Seca. Obviously, not one of his favourite tracks then. No. Although the Bentley's not the best round that track, I don't think. No. It's a... Uh, it's, 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 it's no faster, it's, 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 it's a big cumbersome car. There's a lot of, there's too many second gear corners and things in it. 
for it. Aye. Fresh, do you agree? Yeah. You being the, the, the you being the, the, bent, the another Bentley enthusiast. Yeah. Cut, oh, cut. I don't like I don't like that truck uh, that truck anyway. Yeah. I'm not the best at it. Yeah, I knew, I noticed the uh, back when me and Chica done a an endurance race. It was a a three hour endurance race round there, and we were the only ones that turned up with a Bentley. <laughs> That's right. And it was it was all I mean it was all aliens and esports drivers anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think it was five or six laps in, we were already getting passed. And it was it was droves of I mean it was droves of like ten cars passing us. Was that not your first ever PC was, endurance first, race? Yeah. yeah, we thought we'd go in there. I mean, we'd been in the the rookie league for that for that week, and uh, we were doing fine. We were first and second and third. So, ah, this is easy. PC is no different than PlayStation. We went in our first endurance race and came dead last. Came, well, no, we didn't come dead last. There were people that, that crashed out. Only a but couple of other people. The fact that we were about nine or ten laps down on everybody just really <laughs> hit home. Aye. It's a different, it's a different uh, monster, that PC endurance yeah. racing. Yeah, it is a bit. So, moving on to the Tier 2 drivers, right? This yes. is the amateur. So, it was amateur and pro, right? Yes. Just keep myself right. <laughs> Carry on. And we the Kev, Hutch and Jester. So we the Kev, um, rightly so. He, oh, he managed shit. to secure it actually without even having to take part in the last right, race. Right. So he got c congratulated for that after the second race in round seven um, last week. No, no, the Sunday gone, the Sunday before. Um, and the only the only other people that were kind of. <sighs> probably close enough to do any damage was Woody, Jester and Hutch. But if you look there, Woody never finished. He never took part, sorry, in race six, which was a double points race. Mm -hmm. And then as far Hutch, as I can remember. Hutch and Jester did well as well. Been well if you look at the average points that, that, that um, Mr. Alien himself is getting, he's got lots of medals up there, so he potentially could have got about Anywhere between 50 and 60 points, which puts him in second place. It's interesting to see we, we the Kev, although he didn't put in, well, I mean, he got an awful lot of golds, but look mm -hmm. at all the silvers and bronzes and mm -hmm. the fourth place. The eighth place was maybe just a wee glitch, but, but it goes to show you as long as you're consistently up that direction, you'll finish really well. You've got to feel for Woody. Because he's developed so much since he's came to the FRL. I'll just have a look at Woody's. Uh, it's all it's all top ten. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it would be top ten. There's only ten. Never mind. So or he could have on average. I think he could have took. He could have took an average of about fifty points for that that that, that um, double points race, <sighs> which would have been a completely different story for him. But hey ho. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'll have a quick look at the Super Race qualification. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then we'll get another wee look at the lap PC. records for tonight if we can, because the lap what records then? are getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, guys. So we're still only 10 people in PS4. Guys, you mm -hmm. need to get out there and do some more practice, uh, some more qualifying. You need this more is where we're going to see uh, GT Jamie's actual lap time. On the next what one, is, bit of the PS5. What is the cut off for PlayStation 4 and play, the PlayStation 5 and that's more, I think? Uh, so the date, the cut off dates, the. No, no, the, the amount cut off, the, how many people do you need? 20? No, no, there, there's a set amount that needs to be in to go for it to go even go ahead. We can ask that question of James. Um, right now, there's, there's only. He did 10 tell people. us the last time he was on, I forgot completely. <laughs> but I do know that uh, 10 people is not going to be enough if you want this to go ahead. You need to go in there and get some times in, guys. Aye, so all you're doing, guys, is going on to Brands Hatch, carry your choice, um, this, set it so that it's optimum temperature, um, ideally 2021 20, um, track temperature, um, and then go and do your times. Oh, there you go, 22.971. Why was I thinking of 21? Anyway, it's the fastest 
out of anyone that's done any of the laps, but again, there's only 10 people that's put times in there as well. Yeah. I did my, my fastest time ever as well, which I'm very proud of, 24.489. I've never been that fast around Brands Hatch in my life. So and then a, is, is there a PC one as well? There is a PC one. Uh, we'll go to that just now before we go over to uh, some grid then. I think these have got 18 entries or something, or maybe more. Uh, it's not been updated, I think there's more than 30. Right. Well, I could be wrong. Um, technically, me and James just threw a couple of laps in to put their names up there and get it started. And we appear to be still managing to stay in the race, so that would be upsetting. As oh my god. 13th place is already a second factor. <laughs> Alfie Barron has done a 22.752. Yes, Alfie's very quick. So that's on PC, but that's a couple of tens faster than GT Jamie. Yeah. See, so yeah, I mean, you can put more laps in if you want to get a better score. It's uh, just the hot laps. But see, the, the 15 that we've got on PC, we need more than that as well. I'm sure, I'm sure that Rhino Sully, yes. uh, I used to race with him um, in EOA. Rhino Sully? Oh, okay. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, I'm it, sure it it's may, him Yeah, it might have been. Um, he's been, he's actually been with us for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. um, one of, one of got, our regulars now. I've got Woody yeah. saying, don't worry Chris, I have spoken to my boss. And I have warned him I'm not walking away during FRL, FRL race nights. Get in there, son. I mean, no, that means he ain't going to have a job because he's going to be racing every night. <laughs> so, on the PC side, uh, Ferrari World Tour, which is the attendance has fell off, but we've got one race left and the guys want to go ahead and finish it. Um, George has just about... confirmed tomorrow's race is yes, double header, double points. Mm -hmm. Get in, get in. So we decided to leave the, the race, the last two go, because although the attendance has fell a little bit, uh, we got the top two guys fighting for a first place, mm -hmm. and third and fourth place fighting for the last third place. So Zabo like and that beaten, for a couple I, of days now. I was racing with um, beaten tonight. Uh, that was a really good race tonight. So is that the that standing? Is, that's the standings right. for the brands and ponies. Have a wee look at the actual results for tonight. There was the only eight of us. The only there was only eight of us showed up. So change the nubs to Sammy, and then that to race one. Nobody's put the results up. I did. Let's change the Ferrari thing here. Change oh, God. that. To... My apologies. So, so the final race I had, result. I had a great race with Toth Adam. Great race. Was it Toth you were racing with? Uh, that's it's um, Adam seven 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 yeah. or something. His name is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Aye, we were like nose to tail. I nearly got up in the second last corner and then the sausage cup saved his life. Yeah, okay, look at the finish, uh, lap times. Aye. And the finishing time, one second's difference. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I just tried to push too hard at the final corner and the back end kicked out, so he just pulled away and got that extra second over and above us. Yeah, you've been enjoying that series. You've not been in every single race, which is why you're sitting so far down. Yeah. But, uh, I did enjoy that. I really like driving a Ferrari, actually. Look, tonight, I mean, I you're, in, to get... you're in 10th place. If you'd never have missed those two races, you'd be further up. Not too far up. Maybe about another 30 points or something. So, yeah. um, I managed to just get in from work tonight at 25 to. I got in, set everything up, and then I think I done. I just went with aggressive on the pro the Ferrari and tweaked a wee bit here, a wee bit there, and. The thing stuck to the to Kaya Lamy like glue. Yeah. It's amazing. So I mean, at the moment we're in we're empty weeks. So the the British GT we've not had another race since the last time we looked. The endurance yeah. races once a month. Yep. Yeah. Um, we've got the rookie season coming up, which starts. Uh, so let's uh, talk about that. The rookie season, the rookie series. 
rookie series will start on the 5th, which is the day before the the main GT3 starts. Um, the idea for this one was there's no track medals to get in and no SA, so in order to get into the Friday race, you have to have 75 SA and mm -hmm. three track medals for every, for every track that we use. Mm -hmm. um, as accidents happen, things like that, then you may have to, you may lose your SA and if you go below what you need to be on the server, rather than having to lose that race outright, you can go into the Rookies League mm -hmm. and race that night. Um, you must be actually got on PC, Briz. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting for my brother to move into a new house. And get yourself then, to uh, PC. Is, and if I can get back into work then uh, he's sorting me out a cheap laptop just for the meantime, just so I can just run it, even if I just have to run it at the lowest graphics settings. And then uh, I'm just going to build a PC. Excellent. So the, the rookies was meant to be just kind of like a, a come whenever you needed to. Mm -hmm. um, we have set up four races to begin with, but I don't, think, I just... I don't think any of us expected it to be a full grid. I was just about to say, can I just say there's a full grid of 30 in there? Um, we, we know that most of the time all 30 won't show up, it's not that kind of series. So any if, if there is a possibility that we need that other people need to get in and do their uh, SA up, um, mm -hmm. we it's there for that. That server has the ability to have more drivers in it if need be. Uh -huh. um, so by check in if if it, if we get that let's say just for Talking sakes, we do get 30 people coming each week, and there's a couple of drivers. There's never going to be more than four or five drivers that might have to come in just to get their SA and medals up. Um, I well, if you read the, the top bit there, yeah. it says um, rookie series. This series is intended for the new drivers who want to gain experience, increase their rating, and for those whose SA drops below 75, yeah. join this series only if you have a positive mindset for learning and gaining experience. Yeah, and everybody's oh. going to be running in regular liveries as well, so. Mm -hmm. And there's a 10 minute pit window. Um, the reason that I put a 10 minute pit window in is, I know a lot of people say, well what happens if you crash in the first lap? Um, this gives you the chance in a, a rookie situation to learn manage to drive with some, learn to manage your race with damage. Because this thing, it does happen that you'll get a bit of damage. Um, but you can still run the race and you're not losing a lot of time. You can still pit, yeah. but it doesn't count against doesn't your count. mandatory yeah. pit. So right. you can pit to get rid of damage yeah. or drive your race with the damage so out a way of getting round the track and uh, get your time up as best as possible. Yeah. And also, also is to help evaluate new drivers, which there's a lot of them in there. Mm -hmm. um, so what we've done as well is it's fixed weather. That's the rules, not races. In the wrong way. So if you look at the the weathers and the times that they're running at, uh -huh. so that's like a an evening race with rain, and you got a evening race where it's sunny, a evening race where it's sunny, and then you've got a a dark race where it's sunny. I'm sitting saying evening. I'm looking at the wrong thing. It's an afternoon race in the rain. An afternoon race in the sun, a night race in the sun, and then a, a wet night race. And oh, those are goodness. those are set. Uh, that way we can get an idea of the new guys coming into the server, how how they react. Because part of it was going into the the main event. We had some drivers that came in that it wasn't that they were dirty drivers. It's just they never they were fast. And they were in the pro section, or they were in the high amateur section, but they, they never really drove alongside other people. Um, and whether they were getting like anxious or worried in the pack, uh, there was a lot of accidents happening. Mm -hmm. But I, I would like to say that that did change as the season went along, people got better at it. But the idea for the rookie season as well was to help people get into a race situation and, and build that up before you go into what the class is their main event on PC. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. And then the only other one that we've got an upcoming Porsche 
challenge, fourth uh, Lambo challenge, the fourth cup, the Lambo trophy. Uh, I don't know how that's going. That's got eight and eight. We're happy with that. But there's actually not a lot of series to run at the moment. We've got season three coming up. Uh, anyone that wants to be in season three has to do a hot lap. A couple yep. of hot laps on the hot lap server. How uh, many laps have they got to do to complete that? So you can do as many laps as you want. You can go in there and you can do 200 laps. It's only going to take the fastest lap. Mm -hmm. The way we've got it set up. So it's just the so fastest lap. you don't lap. need to do like a minimum of five or something? No, you can... You can go in there and do uh, four laps to get your tyres up to temperature and then just do one lap and be happy with your lap and leave. Or do, do a bristle, do your out lap, do one lap and go back to the pits and be top of the bloody grid. I, I don't think you're ever going to get away with that on PC. It takes, no, because you're... It takes you four laps to get your tyres up to temperature. Yes. And then, and then after you get your tyres to temperature, you've got maybe one or two good laps that you'll get before the tyres start degrading and you'll never get that time again. Aye. The times start coming down by... I mean, it might only be a tenth every two laps that you're losing, but you will start to lose time. I've, I've gutted some of the new series that's are like, kind of taking place on Tuesdays because I would have liked to have taken part, especially in that Trophy Cup challenge. The the Trophy Cup, we've changed it to Tuesday. We want to find out what the how it feels on a Tuesday. Because at the moment, we the problem is twofold, and we don't know which one could be the main problem. One, we're in a situation where we're using... Uh, specialty cars or specialty races that we're trying to come up with. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that nobody wants to drive those and they just want to drive the GT3 cars. So, after the Trofeo uh, Cup Challenge, yep. we're going to go to uh, a two good race sprint. Uh, we're open GT3 cars, see how that goes. But we're, cool. we're checking out different days as well. Uh, Wednesday was good for a while, but then when the other league started up, that people were already involved in that went downhill a wee bit. Um, we'll try Tuesday. Tuesday's another day that's got a few out there, but we've been doing all our one off events on a Tuesday and they've been upwards of 25 to 35 drivers. Excellent. Can so I just. If we can get um, that, it'll be all right. Have you mentioned to Biggie? Um, B07, um, he's just obviously joined FRL recently and he's posted up a wee thing. Um, he's actually put a, a, kind of a couple of questions up there. Um, one saying, um, how long on average has everyone been racing in here? Um, give me an idea of how long I have to learn. Um, I think we're all constantly learning um, to try and answer that question, Biggie. Uh, me, personally, just, just under two years. No, I would say just over two years I've been racing in this. Briz, yourself, how long have you been doing it? Uh, well, my steering wheel, it's only been since July. Uh, right. But uh, with the controller, you're talking 20 years, probably. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Hence sure why your age, you Fred. are uncatchable. <laughs> uh, Dale's about the same as me. I mean, we can start I've, to play yeah, this game. Yeah, I've had the game about two years. Uh, I went straight in on steering wheel. I bought, I bought ACC and I would not play it until my steering wheel came. That's right. Um, and then, for whatever reason, on and off, I've, it's been about two years on and off, for about six months. He's made quite so a good in. suggestion, actually. Um, what's he said here? Um, hopefully the Rookie Series is something that comes to PS5, as that would be great for people like me. So, commend, commendably, last night, he stuck it out to the very end of Bathurst. Um, and he also probably ended up a few, a good few laps behind, because he did apologise, which you don't need to but it's it's he moved out the road for pretty much everyone, he was having just his own wee battle last night, um, it was good that he stayed to the end of the race, which is this is the mentality we want for anyone that's coming into racing any of races stay to the end regardless of your pace um, and then we've got Woody saying uh, well, sorry, Evan first of all, um have a reach out to the coaches. I'm sure they'll be able to help you with some hints and tips, which they <laughs> I read are. That, I read that as reach around. <laughs> <laughs> reach out, sickle. But that's G the Gamer Dad and GT Jamie. 
both are available to just give hints and tips if you want to book in a wee session with them. We do have a patron, um, so again I'll, I'll kind of put a wee punt out to the patron. If you sign up to our patron it opens up the opportunity for you to have um, sessions with the likes of Gamer Dad and GT Jamie. Uh, details of that, ask any questions, we can give you details to get any of those. It's, it's um, details of it on the website. Um, but just ask any questions and we'll, we'll point in the right direction. Woody's also put a reply to Biggie saying, Get involved in any series you can. I felt very anxious about jumping into my first FRL online, online race, but it didn't go as bad as I thought. If you if you can slammers it a bit more laid um, if you do slammers it's a bit more laid back than the other series. I uh, last night uh, was probably the best fun I've had on FRL recently, um, and I think it was it was needed considering what's been happening in the last few weeks. Last night was brilliant. Last night was just a total and utter laugh and a half. Um, <laughs> We stayed at the road of the likes of Brizzle and that who at the top spot who were trying to kind of get their series, but <laughs> me and uh, Dom and Woody ended up having some crazy, crazy crashes and crazy fun last night, and I had great pleasure, great, great, great pleasure in taking Geo out on the last <laughs> lap, at this, the last corner. <laughs> I was trying to pass, I just took him out. <laughs> I think. Uh, Sorry, the... Geo. And you would be you would know better than I would, but uh, on the a rookie series on PS, uh, with the amount of races you guys already have, I'd imagine if you did do a rookie race, you'd have to scrap one of their series, wouldn't you? No, before on PlayStation we have. Um... Couldn't you do it like on a Thursday? We've got Thursdays, we've got a Thursday series going on just now, but we've also got a Wednesday which isn't currently being used. Yeah, but um, you also got to remember that uh, the admin staff is stretched just now, which has been... Ah, I'd, if, if a, a rookie series is something that everyone, all the kind of new guys wanted to get involved in, I'm sure I no, could... I, I think it would be a good idea, but I think... Uh, it's a great you, idea. You'd, you'd maybe have to drop one of your days because the next Monday's getting ready to start again. Yeah, so, so you're, <clears> you're you're going to wind up with a lot of series. I do think it'd be good for the slower guys uh, to be able to race and participate and actually have a challenge in there. Uh, I remember uh, young guy Purple Snack, who was a nice guy and things, but he was always he was really 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 down on himself. Yeah. But he was always at the back, and it, it does it gets to you eventually if you if you're always at the back. So a rookie series would definitely help, but I just don't know where you would place it in a a PlayStation site. Uh, it's 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 definitely manageable. That's something I could actually um, try and work out. But anyway, that's another story. We'll work that out later on down the line. Woody has just said, "Yes, agreed. Great laugh at the back of the pack." Um, but avoided the one fighting for the championship. How we managed that, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and watch my replays back now. <laughs> Are you going to put in some tickets? No. Tickets, tickets, tickets. No, just like, oh, the... <laughs> oh, last night was just fantastic. Like I was talking to you on the phone before I come on the chat, Del. Um, that tiny wee gap that opened up for me and I just oh, smashed yeah. bomb and uh, with you at the road and on the way down the hill. It was fantastic. Anyway, Maybe. it's definitely Slammers is there for people to come in, have a bit of fun, um, have a laugh. I would it's, I would say it's not quite to have as much fun as you had last night. No, it was the final race of the season, but we do begin, we do take it seriously, but we also have a laugh and a bit of fun. Because it is a arrive and drive and just come in a wee sprint and just kind of, if you're up late, a nice wee way to wind down um, if, you've, if you've taken part in the tackles, which can be quite a, 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 a fast-paced battle. And if then you go to slammers and it's yeah. nice and laid back. If you see a wee mint car, whether it's a Porsche or a Bentley or whatever, just like avoid it at all costs. <laughs> My spearmint rhino, don't you dare. Yeah, you've got to avoid your car. 
my wee spearmint rhino found a, the smallest gap known to man, right in between. Well, that's only because if you if Tom you remember Rico. if you remember how Wreckfest works, the more you bounce the walls, the skinnier the car gets. So you had just enough room for your guy to sit, and you went through the gap. <laughs> Oh, very good. Right. The chat's the chat's been very very active tonight. Very active it has indeed. Been. It's quite good. So we're, we're getting to the end of our time here. Not necessarily because I've still got to do our aliens. Oh, of no, that's the what week. I mean. We're, we're getting close to it, so let's let's start getting your aliens of the week done. Because that'll be so, a good ten fifteen minutes. We have the first... two this week, right? I'm going to do one for PC and one for PlayStation. So my one for PlayStation, um, this guy has probably went unnoticed since he's arrived at FRL. He's been always up there, always contesting, always getting like involved. He's quite active on the Discord, um, but his his performances are are like kind of clean, safe. You don't see him. In a lot of tickets, I don't think I've ever seen him involved in any tickets. Actually, he's just he's super clean, super fast. Um, this week's PlayStation driver uh, alien of the week is going to go to SOP Steve Seven Eight Nine. Well done, totally Steve. well deserved. I don't think um, I've seen his name in that ticket either. I must admit. No. Nope. So, well done, mate. He's involved. Well he's involved in. Like tacos, he does endurance. Um, he's he's definitely like deserved of it. Um, I think he showed up a few seasons back. His debut races were phenomenally fast. So he and I think it's time. Alien think head next to his name, don't he? Ah, he needs a wee alien head next to his name because he's definitely. Um, is definitely that, is, is that well, alien head? Is that eight there for life, or is that just there for a couple of months or something? I uh, just you keep it at the side of your name if you like. You've been classed as an alien by your peers, so you might as well let people know. By someone who's not where anywhere near an alien. Hi. <laughs> now, PCs are kind of hard one, but there's definitely Dell. I think you kind of helped me kind of um, pinpoint. I would say, like, kind of. Well, I've, I'll let you announce his name, but you'd, you'd say his... You um, told me who it is, so I can't announce it, can I? <laughs> oh, the... What's his name, what's his name, what's his name? Are you talking about the one I mentioned earlier? Yes. Okay, so, so it's, uh, it's Nishira. Um, he won... Matia Nishira. Yeah, so he won both of the... Uh, the GT3 Pure Sun yes. seasons uh, by quite a bit, actually. Aye, he's he's just so consistent. He's so fast. He's he likes he's, that Bentley as well. He's 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 one of the kind of the better um, PC racers. He always gives Keddy a run for his money. Keddy himself, we all know, is an alien, but I think he's went on this Matia Nashira. Not necessarily yeah. went unnoticed, but he, I Nishira, think it's commendable. That he gets. actually he, Nishira said himself that. Uh, he doesn't class himself as a fast driver. That's it's ridiculous. Con it's consistency. Well, see, Will, Will Friedman says the same thing. He doesn't class himself as a fast driver. It's just it's he can just... put basically the same time in all the time. There's yeah. dr faster drivers that might... That their, their speeds are up and down a little bit on the track. But these guys... Uh, consistency. He, he classes himself as a consistent driver in, the, in the top. And I think, I think that comes with patience, so if you're a patient driver, consistency will come hand in hand. So He's a clean driver as well. Matty and Ashira, um, a wee golf clap to you as well for Alien of the Week for PC. Yeah, I think, I think the addition of Alien of the Week for PC is quite good. Um, I yeah, that's um, something we'll, we'll, go, we'll do going forward. So yeah. You'll have to put a wee announcement you, up for them as well, so as they know what's coming. Aye, well, what what the PC guys need to do is use the driver of the day submission channel. It's still in its infancy. There's not been many put up there. You go into the PlayStation and you can scroll for days and days and days. So the PC, we need you guys to, to start posting up the guys that you think are the better drivers around about you. The problem with PC um, is that they're like oil rig workers. The minute the race is done, they've Scatter and you never 
yeah, that's quite a good analogy, actually. <laughs> so, who's the alien? Well done, SOP Steve. Um, one of the aliens, SOP Steve, blah, blah. Post driver like myself, hard work for. Yes. I so, uh, Rico Vantage is our post driver as well. Woohoo! Love you, man. <clears throat> so. Might be able to give you some hints and tips, Chris, how to drive it. Yeah. I how to actually drive the Porsche properly. Yeah. And all. I think the first step would be it was not a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I go off the track once it's starting. See, <laughs> once. <laughs> Do you know that it's Snetterton, <laughs> and I have a really poor, in fact it wasn't Snetterton, I'll start again, it was Imola, and a Porsche, and then Snetterton, and then Snetterton, and, and the Porsche GT4, and, and then, then Silverstone, no, no, no. And, then, and then Monza, <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> and then Parama. One race, <laughs> and the Porsche GT4, where I couldn't keep off the grass, and then that one race at Snetterton, where I think I went off onto the grass, Five or six times, I still finished the race, and it, you just don't shut up with it. No, it, it's, it's, dead to me. it's actually a shame because if you went ahead and done the Tuesday series, <laughs> uh, that Porsche that's in there, the cup car one, uh -huh. it can take the it can take over the curbs the same as what a Bentley does, because it's actually very high off the ground. It's not low in the ground like the GT3. Mm. It's almost as quick as them as well. Don't I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. <laughs> I wouldn't say you can go over the curves as well as a Bentley. Nothing gets over like a Bentley, but you can definitely take a lot of curve with those Porsche cars, the cup car. Don't do this to me. Don't. The, the Lambo's Don't. not quite as nice. So he's changing his car. <laughs> no. I'm... Well, no, he'll not be able to race it because he's in tackle. Uh, I've run Ta the tackle season, I think, starts the same date. What, what was the date? I think it's, uh, it's the so week season, season, first week season of May. Five. Season 5 will start in two weeks' time. So you could maybe oh. do... Well, no, you can't. Oh, well, yeah, you could. Uh, you could possibly do the first Porsche race. I could come in and do the opener. Yeah, and you'll miss the last three. But what I would suggest doing... There's not a lot of people there just now. Uh, if it does start to fill up after the first race, I would suggest leaving the series at that point. That way somebody can take your place. Yeah, of course. That, that, way, would... that way you're not... But yeah, you can pop in and just. If there's the space, race. I'll race. If I'll not take space if it's a full grid or if it's starting to teeter on a full grid because it wouldn't be fair. I would I would only be going just to try the Porsche. I know what the Lamborghini is going to be like. I raced the ST, which is probably quite similar to this other one. Uh, the the Lambo Trofeo and the Lambo ST are the same kind of car, but uh, the the Trofeo two is a much better car. Um, they're starting to... I'm not going to say that the, the GT3 cars that the ACC's got out are really quite good, mm -hmm. but now they're focusing more on how the car... Since they've done the BMW, they're focusing a lot on the car and how they're built and things like that. So you find that the Porsche and the Lambo are very similar cars in pace, mm -hmm. um, and you can really give a GT3 car some fights, whereas the older versions were, they never got much attention when they were building them. Uh, the, the new Audi, I don't know if you've had a shot of the new Audi either, it's... it's no, I've, no I've, I've not touched any of the new cars, believe um, it or not. It's like the old Audi, it's just, it's, it's probably as quick and everything else, but with the new traction control system that they've added to the cars, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about the back end as much. Uh, you know how the Audi's very twitchy and horrible, so the new one's not as bad. It's more more like real life. It'll still you still lose it if you're careless, but yeah. it, it's a lot nicer. Um, and the traction controls in new cars don't hinder you as much as the old cars because the traction control on these cars in real life are actually very accurate. Right. You can have a higher traction control, it's not going to kill the engine that much. Whereas the cars have got... The, the worst one would be the Jaguar and the ACC. Track him up the corner, we have got a really low uh, traction control or it'll just kill the engine. It still does. Mm. But, there you go. So, just a last wee thing before we kind of, like, kind of tie things off. 
Um, we've got this mix Monday um, starting quite soon. And a wee um, shout out to um, Woody Dale um, in Woodward. Sorry, he's, he's joined the um, admin support team and basically he's going to run the PS4 side, so the Mix Monday PS4 side, so a, tw a 20 car grid. Um, we've also got, um, we're in need of s anyone that's happy to come in and run the PS5 side, which is going to be a 30 car grid, which is going to have 20 GT3 cars and 10 GT4 cars. Um, or I've had a wee discussion with James about maybe uh, a different kind of setup for that, but right now that's the way it stands. And also we're in need of someone that's happy to come in and help run the PS4 Pure Sim Gear Sunday. Um, it's one of your kind of signature leaks alongside Tackers of course. Um, that's again a GT3 class with 20 car grid. So if there's anyone out there that's happy to kind of, um, kind of let... <clears throat> come in and help or they're maybe a wee bit inquisitive as to what it might entail contact me and we can discuss um, the setup and see if it's something that you're happy to do um, one of the kind of main things I would say is you need to be obviously present within the series so being there so that you can kind of have a presence in the server itself and if you're happy to do it we'll discuss all the different things that require as well so there we go so Exciting to... times ahead. Mix Mondays coming back. Yes! Mix Mondays is brilliant. That's everybody getting ready to go to bed. Evan says goodnight as well. Been a pleasure watching gents. Going to shoot off. Thanks again for the FRL cast. Nice to see the face behind the alien Brizzle. Yes, <laughs> a big massive thank you for Brizzle taking an hour and a half out of his time tonight to come on to the cast and let people see that face behind the guy that horses that bloody Luminous brick round the goddamn track with wheels on it. <laughs> yeah. Also a big, also a big thank you to everybody in the chat tonight. I actually saw the amount of attending people at one time was up to twenty one at one point. Hey. I think that's a high no. record. Yes. But um, it's good night from me. And it's, it's good, good night, night from me. And good night from me. Catch you all later, boys. Have a good night. See you.